Hey guys, and welcome to Natural Aesthetics. This is a very short physique update video showcasing some pictures of where my body is at the moment, along with some progression from the last two weeks of lifting. So this really is about an honest physique update as you're gonna get, guys. Um, you know, I'm carrying a fair amount of body fat. I mean, kind of full swing of a bulk. Um, the lighting isn't particularly good. No pump, no tan, I haven't shaved. So, you know, there's, there's no trickery here. It is what it is. I'm not using Photoshop or anything like that. Um, and you can see the difference that having low body fat and a slight tan and decent lighting makes to a physique. It's the same physique, it's just different variables. I'm also a lifetime natural. and I don't use any supplements whatsoever, pre-workouts, amino acids, creatine, protein powders, even caffeine. I just rely on training and food. So the reason why I'm carrying a little bit more body fat at the moment is because I've committed this year entirely to regaining my peak strength levels. I want to become the strongest that I've ever been. Um, I was at my strongest prior to 2015, and for a number of reasons, I haven't really trained with strength in mind. I haven't been able to through uh, health and medicine that I've been taking over the last couple of years, dieting for competitions. Um, you know, there have been a lot of variables that have kind of got in the way, so to speak. So this year, I've committed completely and utterly to regaining my strength and surpassing previous best if it takes all year then so be it essentially i'm doing this by utilizing a three day per week full body routine and uh, week to week using progressive overload to uh, you know act as a catalyst for my strength gain so i'll try and add uh, weight on each exercise each week if i can if i can't then i'll try and add a rep if i can't get a rep i'll do half a rep and you know within a space of a few weeks i will have gained either a rep or kilo on the bar um, and that's kind of the way I'm doing it. Um, as the year goes on, I will also add more sets on some of the key exercises. I've started to add a few more sets in already on some of the exercises, but more than likely we'll need to increase volume at some point um, to quite kind of, um, again, act as more of a, a stronger catalyst to continue to improve strength. Um, and really just using food as a... Um, I again use that word catalyst for strength development. Um, when I feel like I'm not progressing as fast as I could be, then I need to up my calories, especially on the day prior to a uh, a training session, really slam down the carbs. Um, and this usually, uh, you know, works quite well. If if you feel like you're not gaining strength fast enough, then just eat more, try and gain more weight and. You have to be careful because it can kind of run away from you and you know before you'll know it you'll be carrying too much body fat um, too much that you'll be confident with but um, it really does work uh, I think at some point if you're a true natural and you're interested in gaining you know a large muscular physique as a natural then I think at some point you have to kind of commit to a bulk where you're gonna see you know considerable increases in your body weight and body fat. Um, just to kind of experience those rapid strength increases, you know, I guess you could say that it's going to be the most powerful stimulus that you can get as a natural for building muscle and strength. Large quantities of food. Um, that's all you've got, really. So at some point, I think it'd be wise to make the most of it. Not saying that it's essential, but it's certainly going to help your ability to gain strength at a faster rate. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Don't forget to click on the notification button next to the subscribe bar to be made aware of any videos I upload automatically. Stay strong.